Hey everyone, it's Garamrit. I know it's been a while, but I'm here to share some really awesome things with you. And today I really want to talk about bursting through the murkiness. So when I'm speaking about murkiness, I'm talking about the mud, the resistance, the fear, the stuff that's keeping you from being your true awesome self. So, you know, when we're really passionate about something and we're really dedicated to living a life that is really authentic for us, we may come across some resistance or even come into a place where we're, we have people who are haters or people who just don't see the way you see or agree with the path that you've decided. And that's what I like to call the murkiness or even when you're having self-doubt or you're completely unsure if this is the right path for you. And it is through the murkiness that the most amazing things are born. Just think about it for a second. The most beautiful flower, well, at least I think it's one of the most beautiful flowers, the lotus, grows in mud. And if there is no mud, there is no lotus. So think of yourself as that lotus. Take a second and breathe. You're right underneath the surface. You're a bud. You are ready for blossoming. But in order to reach the surface, you must burst forth and burst through the mud. It may not be fun. I mean, unless you're really into that kind of thing. But it's hard. And it's hard to recognize that you're meeting resistance or you're struggling or you're afraid. But really allowing yourself to go in feet first, head first, cannonball, deep dive, whatever, into that murky place and let yourself feel that resistance. And once you feel it, maybe ultimately you realize, yes, this is the right path for me. In order for you to really recognize your true potential and that your passions are, are to be realized and to come to fruition, you have to go through some shit. I mean, don't you think like the greatest minds in the world went through shit before they came up with their best idea? I mean, you don't just think of good ideas like that. I mean, sure, but you can come up with an idea, but you have to water it. You have to cater to it. You have to to struggle. Not struggle in a way where you you feel awful about yourself, but struggle towards progress. And that's something that I've been experiencing in in terms of my own self-doubt and thoughts about fear, fear of failure, which is showing up as something really new for me. Uh, it's been an epiphany like I am really truly afraid of failure. And that's huge for me to share with all of you because, I mean, who wants to admit that anyway? But I know I'm really supposed to write this book. And I know you all have amazing gifts that you're supposed to share. So if you're feeling a little bit of struggle and you're feeling a little bit of fear, don't let that stop you. You're right at the precipice. You are so close to bursting forth and blossoming. You are the lotus. And just don't forget, without that mud, there is no lotus. And once you blossom, you will be the most beautiful flower. You have amazing things to share with this world. Don't do a disservice to yourself, to your soul, and to your community by denying, denying it. Don't deny it. Well, rock on, people, and uh, stay tuned for my cookbook. It'll be coming to you soon. Bye.